In order to make barbed wire, these are the tools that are required. Exacto knife or razor knife, wire cutter, side cutter, 26 gauge floral wire, and fiberglass screening. Don't use the metal stuff. You'll cut your hands all up. And of course, the ever famous tacky glue or white glue. The reason we use that is it still remains flexible even though even when it's dry. And you'll see why. First thing you're going to do is take your exacto knife and your piece of screen. I'm just using a smaller piece here uh, for time constraints. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go one uh, one row over, so you basically have a uh, vertical line running, and you're going to run the knife down. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll see that right now it's a little thick due to uneven cut. Uh, clean it up. And you'll have one piece, basically a uh, little barb sticking out of it. Okay, now we clean it up, and this is the piece, uh, a little hard to see the barbs, but it's only one strand thick. Okay, now take your uh, 26 gauge wire, cut approximately a foot long, You're going to want your piece of uh, wire to be maybe a little bit shorter than the piece of screen that you cut. Okay, now take some white glue, place it on your finger, index finger. Uh, you can put it on your index finger and thumb or just your index finger and then use your thumb to smear it around. Pull the wire between your two fingers to coat the wire with white glue. You don't have to get crazy, just enough. What you're going to do next is take the uh, screen, a piece of screen, or what is soon to become your barbs, and run that through your fingers as well. However, don't do the entire piece. Uh, it'll be dry before you get done, and it just turns into a big gooey mess. Okay, then hold on to the one end of the screen and the wire and begin going around and around and around. You don't want your uh, your winds to be too tight. Uh, also, you don't want them to be too loose. If they're too, too far apart, it won't look good as well.
and you just continue wrapping. Um, the glue on your fingers will start to dry and get tacky. Uh, just rub the glue off and then apply new glue as well. Uh, you want to keep it tight when you're wrapping so you don't get little loops and then it really loses the barbed wire effect. You get any big clumps of glue because as I said the glue starts to dry on your fingers and these barbs stick to everything um, basically you just rub your clean your fingers off pick out the pieces Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut it here. Normally a smaller piece, usually it's about a foot long. Um, if you totally straighten it out, you could use it going across uh, fence posts, that kind of stuff. Uh, just cleaning up the end a little bit there. Uh, if you're going to use it in a military aspect, then here's what we do next. We take the wire wrap it around a doll rod uh, in this case it's a half inch doll rod and you get your wraps and then slide it off uh, go ahead and spray paint it any color you want uh, black probably and then dry brush with some silver uh, it does spring again and even when it's dry and there you have it.